Okay, I'm going to show uh, an example on how to use the uh, collector's eye um, Android application to identify a coin um, via taking a picture on the front and back. Um, once you load to the main screen, you'll see uh, two buttons here. Um, this button right here is to take an image of the front of the coin. This button is to take an image of the back of the coin. If you don't know which is which, it really doesn't matter. Just uh, make sure you just take a picture of both sides. Um, there's a couple of other uh, filters here, but those you really don't have to worry about. Usually the default values in those are, are fine for most cases. Um, start out by taking a picture of the front of this coin right here. The key is you're going to want to make sure that the uh, coin you take a picture of, you get a clear image, and that the light, that you're in a well-lit room, and the light is basically evenly uh, dispersed or distributed across the face of the coin. And uh, I just wanted to give you an example of how my uh, my picture came out before uh, I go on to crop. As you can see, um, the individual text is readable, it's legible. Um, the individual edges are easily um, are easily able to be um, seen, and um, there's a lot less guesswork that the the coin identification service has to do just because um, just because there's really no glare, there's no no blurs, and and the coin is well lit. So if if you kind of stick by these guidelines, you'll probably have better luck uh, using using the collector's eye. Um, what you saw there is you just saw an, an actual auto crop feature that um, you, you actually, in some cases it'll, it'll actually fit the box around the coin automatically, but you generally want to get this box um, as close to the edge of coin as possible because you don't want to really leave background because all that will be, um, will be uh, taken into consideration at the time that the anal analysis is taking place. Um, so right there, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Let it load. Uh, let it load and I'm actually going to flip this uh, coin over and get to the back tails and um, here okay same example um, this is the back of the same coin that I just took you uh, focus in there alright so like I, like I said before the uh, text is easily readable um, the whole coin, the, the, the back is well lit, and you can see the designs and, and make out the actual edges um, pretty well. So there's, there's less guesswork that, this, that the program has to do in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and press Done. And let that uh, load here. And uh, again, the autocrop actually came in this time and, and found the edges of the coin automatically and, and fit the box around perfectly. So there's really no work I have to do this time. Um, I can just go ahead and hit save down here and, and it'll actually load. But in all cases, if the box doesn't fit around the coin exactly, you're going to want to use your finger and, and um, adjust the box so it fits around tightly, just like both of my images are. And um, notice how notice how these images are actually um, the, the top is here, the bottom is there on both sides. So you're basically looking at, at, at the coin position from up to down. Um, and that, if, if it's rotated any other way, it could throw the uh, comparison off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, analyze. It takes about 30 seconds to uh, analyze uh, both images um, against uh, our database. So here, it's almost done. And uh, there's our answer. Go ahead and there's the details. And that's our, that's our coin. Um, let's give another example.